Hi, welcome to another video in the Make the Cut Basics tutorial series. In this video I'm going to show you one of the new functions in Make the Cut and it's wrapping text to a shape. So I'm going to start by putting a shape on my mat and I'm just going to use a circle. So I'll double click on that and there's my circle. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. And now I'm going to add the text that I want to wrap around this circle. So I'm just going to click off of the circle to make sure that's not selected. And then I'm going to come up to the side here and click on text and fonts. And right now I've got the Myriad Pro Lite selected, which is a good font. It's a fairly thick font, so it cuts well. And I'm just going to click on the Add a Group of Characters button. And the Add Text Group dialog box pops up. And for this I'm just going to type Happy Birthday. Now it's important that you have the auto split box checked in order for this to work properly. So I'm going to click on add. And there's the text that I've added. Now I'm going to make this a little bit smaller just so it wraps a bit nicer around my circle. Just like that. Now to actually wrap the text to the circle, I'm going to hold down the control key on my keyboard click on the text so that I'm dragging it around and just drag it over top of the circle and you'll see once I do that my cursor changes and I get the little shapes around the arrow so I'm gonna let go and now you can see that my text is wrapped around the circle and I've also got a little dialog box that's popped up now I'm just gonna ignore the top part for a minute here and focus on the slider bars that are on the bottom and you can see if I start to move the offset slider, what that does is it just moves the text around the circle so you can actually choose exactly where the text is positioned on the shape that you're wrapping it around. So I'm going to bring it to the top and just kind of center it in the middle there. The vertical align slider, what that does is adjusts the vertical position of the text. So you can see as I move the slider down the text moves in closer to the circle and then even over top of it and as I move the slider up the text moves farther away from the circle. So I'm going to bring this in a little bit closer and then the space slider bar adjusts the amount of space that's in between each letter on the text that you've wrapped around the shape. So you can play with that a little bit. Now back up at the top here, there's a checkbox that says repeat. So if I check that, now what it does is starts repeating the text. So right now it says a repeat count of one. So that means that the text has been repeated once and you saw that pop in. And if I click on these arrows up or down, it'll just keep repeating the text until it can't repeat any longer. You'll notice that it doesn't actually overlap there. It ends with the B of birthday because that's now running into the H. You've also got the option of spacing here. So if I change the point 0.3 to a point 0.2, you probably saw that shift a little bit. I'm going to change that to a point 0.1 and you'll see it shift a little bit more. So it's making those letters just a little bit closer together. Now for now I'm going to go back to a repeat count of 1. So I've got the two happy birthday phrases around the circle. And then I'm just going to play with these sliders again a little bit. And what I'm going to do is bring the happy birthday right inside the circle. And then I'm going to adjust my spacing so that they're nice and evenly spaced around the circle. And that's looking pretty good right there. So I'm going to click on accept. And now you can see that I've actually got the words wrapped inside the circle. And now you can start to do some fun effects. So for example, I can select both the words and the circle. And click down here on join. And now all of a sudden I've got the words cut out of the circle. So just by doing the text wrap and some joining and welding you can actually create some really neat effects. Now I'm going to move that aside quickly and just show you this technique also works with shapes not just text. So I'm going to grab another 
circle and I'm going to make this circle bigger and now I'm going to come up and grab another shape and I'm going to try this block arc so I'll double click on that and there it is sitting on my mat and I'm going to make this a little bit smaller now I'm going to use the same technique control click on the block arc and drag it over to the circle and drag it until I see the cursor change and then let go move this dialog box to the side and now I'm going to click repeat and I'm just going to increase the repeat count until I've got these little block arcs all the way around and I'm going to decrease the spacing between them a little bit because I want them to be a bit closer together and now I'm going to start playing with some of these sliders on the bottom and you'll see the effect that I'm going for here is I'm going to have a little circle with a lacy outline to it. Okay, so that's pretty close there. I'm just going to leave it there and click on accept. And now again I'm going to drag my cursor around all of the shapes and this time I'm going to click on weld. And now you can see that I've got that nice little lacy mat created. So just by varying the shapes that you're using, the fonts that you use, the text that you type in, and the way that you weld or join once you're finished with your wrapping, you can come up with a lot of really creative shapes.